Alright, welcome back to Jump One Half. And jumping straight into Koopa Hiking Trail. Whoa. Okay, so I guess the key is going to be related to the secret exit, probably. Let's just do that. Get away from the edge of the fence so that I don't fall. Alright, so I guess I'm going to be dealing with quite a few of these in this level. Bounce off of him to get the dragon coin, and we're good there. Pretty straightforward so far. Let's just kill you, I guess. I'm not sure what else I'll be doing with this shell, so... <laughs> Plop. So let's just bounce on you two. Let you go over me. An eye out for the next dragon coin. Whoops, that didn't work. May as well stay away from the potabo. Oh, there's probably a dragon coin up there. Alright. So let's go forward. Bounce up here. Oh, there's the dragon coin. I guess I'll just continue on the potabos for now. Alright, that seems fine. For a second there, I was worried I wouldn't have quite enough height to get up, but looks like I did. Bounce, bounce. Kill you too. Go under you. Land on you. Anything down there? Nope, there very well could have been a dragon coin down there. It felt suspicious, but apparently not suspicious enough. Boink, boink. So where is... I assume I'm getting pretty close to the midpoint. Probably shouldn't have done that. That was kind of dumb. Oh, gotta climb fast. Get down to the ground. There's the midpoint. And there's also the uh, secret exit, so this is as far as I need to get. Don't need to beat the second half of the level with the key as well, so that's good to know. Yeah, getting past all those uh, vines with the key is going to be pretty tough, but at least I have the power-up that allows me to spin jump with the key, which will make some parts a bit easier. There's dragon coin number three. I, okay, yeah, I'm just going up there to get that. Okay, you're stuck there, finally. It wants me to go here, so I may as well. May as well not try to edge jump that when that works just fine. Pipe. Can't go back in. Don't know why I tried. I don't see why there would be the capability to go back in a pipe like that one, but whatever. Anything up there? Doesn't look like it. The cape helps a lot here. So let's try not to lose it. Let's double check for... Ooh, good thing I checked that one at least. Just hang off the bottom, that should be enough. The Dragon Coins have a pretty generous hitbox, so that wasn't going to be too much of a worry. Hmm. So what's all this about? I guess I need to hit that, and then it's a vine that gets rid of those blocks. Oh, there's ground. That makes things a bit easier. Anything to the right there? Yeah, it looks like there's stuff to the right. I don't know which is the secret and which is not a secret. Honestly. Because of that, I think I'm going to go to the right first. It'll be much easier to do with a cape. And there's only one dragon coin left. Oh, okay, there's just two ways to do it. Okay. Doesn't look like there's anything up there. Just slide in there. Oh, I probably need to get up there, though. That's going to be kind of nasty. Okay, that works. Fifth dragon coin collected. Now even if I die, it's not really a big deal. Though I would lose my cape, which has been a very big help so far. So let's try not to die. Bounce. Go over you. Wait. Oh. Okay, that works. But I lost my cape. That sucks. Bounce over you. Oh, thank goodness I made it. <laughs> that would have gotten a lot harder the second time around. Hello, Koopa Troops. See you later. <laughs> Somehow didn't get hit by them at all. And this brings me back here, which is not so useful. Where would the secret exit even bring me that would be worthwhile? I can't really think of a place. It feels like the only place I could go from here is right, but I've already been there and that's not very exciting. Well, let's try to make this happen. Gotta go fast. Oh, 
Whoops, there it goes. Well, I can start select, so that doesn't matter. <laughs> So it looks like the idea is for me to just bounce on the enemies rather than uh, try to throw it up and land on the But I can just do this too, that makes it pretty easy. So as long as I can get a good spot to sit there for a second and throw it up, I think that's probably the best way to do it most of the time. Then again, I would have to throw it between all the fences and stuff like that can happen too. Let's take another shot at it. Oh, okay, it's stuck, so I can't really do that. So I'm gonna have to get really creative uh, with when I can throw it up and when I can't. Tanking a hit there made that really easy. I can just spin jump on the potobos now, just like I did before to get the dragon coin. Now it's just the easiest way to get through this, honestly. That also explains why there's an extra potobo there. <laughs> so I'm pretty close to the midpoint, I think. I can just go over you. Man, this is super cool how it works well as a net climbing level and then also as a key bouncing level. Okay, I can just go. Whoa, that was close. I'm not sure why I threw it up in the air there. <laughs> we got it! Nice. I thought that might take a lot longer, but... Oh, a star! We're finally seeing some bonus town places. <laughs> wow, some Costa del Sol music, and we've got ourselves Bowser's Cinema. Wow, so this must be where all the movies are at. Look at all these... Is this the final world? Or is this like the second last world? Any... I like all the little parasols sitting around. Even more Final Fantasy VII music. Bowser voice. Welcome one and all to Bowser Cinema. Movies are through this door and the snack bar is over on the right. Oh man, now I understand why he's evil. He's extorting me with his prices. Well, I can... I'll go through and watch one of the movies just for kicks, but... I'm pretty sure I haven't gotten to the point where I need any of them yet. To unlock a movie, you need dragon coins. You also need to have visited the stage where the movie takes place. Makes sense. These movies show you the solutions to tricky parts in certain stages. Chemistry class. AVI. I don't know what level. Oh, Green Palace of the Alchemist. Well, I've been there, which means, and I've beaten it. So, let's see what it shows me, just for kicks and giggles. So, I hit the P switch, grab the first two coins. Good work, me. Now it's time to hit the this P switch and grab three coins. Already like halfway there, right? No, wait, wasn't it 20? Now I actually have to solve a puzzle and I only get rewarded with one coin. Oh no! There's four whole coins over here. Since they all bounce right, they all move that way, and none of them fall down the hole. Easy peasy. Put all the P-switches in a pile, and just let those coins jump into the air. Alright, I'm just gonna hit start here. I don't think there's much of a point in going any farther than this. So what's up the pipe? Is it just more stuff? Yeah. I'm suspecting there's nothing else to do here, so I'm just gonna get out of here. I don't need to watch movies or levels I've already completed, <laughs> and I definitely don't need to waste your time with that. <laughs> now we get power-ups, a Yoshi, which could be anything, I assume. There's a P-switch, and a shell. I just see that we're going to be solving another puzzle here. Whoops. Well, I'll get you down here now, then. Oh, I can use you to fly, too. This is a list of all the actors that played in the 90s hit movie Bowser's Castle. Each will be shown when you are in front of a door. What on earth? Well, I, I can get this very useful thing. 
So I guess maybe if I go in and out of the room. I thought it affected would affect this room. I'm in front of a door. Okay, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> so it looks like this is a get hurt puzzle, but it looks like I can also just kick this shell in my face and get hurt that way. Okay, so I need to bring the Yoshi through then, I think. So maybe I should bring a Yoshi into the room. Oh, hang on, I get it now. When I actually get to Bowser's castle, this will show me who made each room. Alright, that's good to know. So since I came in here with a Yoshi, I can get rid of the power-up. But then how do I dispose of Yoshi? Because I still need to... I have nowhere to drop him down the hole in here. Okay, I can't go up there. Okay, that works. Whoops. And that doesn't work. Dang it. I really need to keep that shell around. <laughs> Okay, so now I can get through here. Okay. Do I have to just throw him faster? Or move faster? Not sure. No, he eats it immediately. I can't jump on him in time. Oh, wait, I just need to turn to the left. I'm dumb. Grab the star myself, and then feed the Yoshi. Alright, I can't take him, so let's just go. Archive of deleted scenes. Off limits to unauthorized personnel. So is this going to be an actual level now? Two and one. Oh, there's extra movies back here. Top Secret Part 2.avi. Top Secret Part 1.avi. Oh, I've been to Color a Dinosaur. I've got the Dragon Coins, apparently. So what is this going to be, then? I already felt like I understood the gimmick to this level. So I'm not sure what it's expecting to show me. Oh. I did not see that coming. Alright, I kind of don't want to see the rest of it. Is the next part the same thing? Oh. There's an extra room. So, let's go to Color a Dinosaur, at least do the first part of that first. What is this door now? Oh, I can go back and forth. Oh hey, I'm right next to Color a Dinosaur apparently. Well, that's convenient. So did it matter which one got hit? I get another feather. For whatever that's worth. So, now I need to actually solve a puzzle. Since I'm not going to cheat and look at the movie. Whoops! That makes me leave, I didn't realize that. So, you're just a regular turn block. Die. Oh, so I have to actually die. It's like Cubic Tom's yump level. But I've only got red shells. That's gonna be a problem. So the hint mo part of the hint movie that I did see, it definitely got a yellow Yoshi. I don't know if that's important. 
Oh, yes, it's definitely important. Alright, so I definitely want to lick the shell at the back. And don't hit that. Alright, so now that I have the shell in my mouth, I bounce this up. Hmm, how do I actually manage that? Okay, it did work. Let's not kill the other shell. I see no reason to waste perfectly good puzzle-solving items. So now I have a key. Now what does this actually let me do? No. It stops as soon as it hits the key. Wait, maybe I need to spit it into there. Hang on, if I pause it, I can move the key left and right? No, that's not working. Dang it. There we go, got it. Now what does this do? I only get one shot at this one. Hopefully it's just something really straightforward. Yeah, that is not at all straightforward. I don't see what effect that had at all. Oh! Right, okay, it's just like... Uh, one of the solutions I think Cubic Tom had, which was... Eat this and spawn a fish. And I did not do it right. I supposed to actually do that? And what's this block for? Is it... I hate only having one try, because doing this underwater is something I've never done before. up into the air when that happens. I was hoping that I would stay on the same level as the P-Switch, but I didn't. Alright, so I'm just gonna look at the movie. I think I've got most of it figured out, but since this is a glitch puzzle and all, you can't be certain, and they didn't really teach me the mechanics either, so I can't really be certain I even have all the knowledge to complete this puzzle. Which is why I don't really want to spend hours and hours trying to figure it out when I might not even be able to. So this part I was aware of. Oh, so it's just random how far the key goes. I thought it depended on how high you were. Okay. Put the key there. Put the P-switch there. Oh, okay. I was trying to land on the P-switch and spawn a fish, but I guess this is what you need to do. I forgot that two items were are capable of pu pushing you into a wall. There we go. It's not difficult to execute, but let's see where it puts me back. So now this looks like an upgraded version of the bonus room. Yoshi recipes. Red Yoshi, yellow Yoshi, blue Yoshi. Are there more? Well, I guess the first thing we'd want to try is center only considering 
that would fit the pattern. Whoops, I hit... Wait, I'm not sure what the X's symbolize, actually. Well, it spawned one of those guys on my head. That's certainly helpful. And now I'm on... Oh man, one of these glitchy Chuck Yoshis. And that's a bullet bill. Silver Yoshi, yay! I can't remember, does this guy get main- wow, it even shows up in the overworld. Heh, <laughs> managed to dodge him. That was lucky. What happens if I go to the overworld with you? <laughs> I'm riding a boo. That's pretty awesome, actually. That one just does damage to me like normal because blue Yoshi. Okay. Let's try the two left. Skull raft. I'm not trying to kill myself anymore. Whoops. And I say just before I actually kill myself. <laughs> glitchy Chuck Yoshi. Hey, that gives me a star. I don't think that does anything exciting for me. No. Now I have a golden Yoshi. That didn't come with me, apparently. I feel like I'm supposed to ground pound that shell. Not sure how that's supposed to help me though. Oh wait, if I ground pound it again. No, but I don't think I can actually get it out of there, can I? It'll just bounce too high. I can I think I can make it up there. There we go. Got up. So how does this help me? Looks like I would need to actually ground pound up here, which is clearly impossible. Nice. Okay, this gets me a P-switch. I think I can solve the rest of the puzzle now, actually. First we want to get flight. Ugh, that's not the way I wanted to send it. I wanted to send it left, ideally. Okay, let's step on the P-switch. Can I get this? Oh wait, yeah, of course I can get it. I can get it from the center. So now I want to fly up here. Spit it out there. Oh. Dang it. I thought I had the solution, but I guess I don't. Hmm, maybe I'm supposed to do that glitch where you grab something and sit, jump on Yoshi at the same time. If I do that with one of the grab blocks and then fly up here, I think that works. Oh, wow, that knocked me off of Yoshi. I didn't know that was an interaction that could happen. Alright, I'm gonna just look up the solution to the second half as well. I think I've got a lot of the pieces in place, but... Okay, so we hit the two on the right. Probably so that we preserve our cape, and I think we still uh, get to fly with Gold Yoshi. I had a feeling that was the case, but... So I figured out this part. And I figured out this part as well. So the only thing I'm confused about is how it- Oh, does he spit fire too? Oh no. Oh, okay. So you can shoot fire through there. That's the thing I was missing. 
I couldn't think of any way to get rid of that green shell. Looks like there's another puzzle here. Okay, I don't think I would have... Well, I think that one would have been pretty obvious. There's only a couple things there, so... Whoops, gotta be ducking. Please get back down in time. There we go. Now I just do what I did before, and I should be good. There we go. Oh, I can go in the pipe off the vine, apparently. Alright, now don't hit this block. There we go. Yeah, oh! This SMB1 costume has not seen the light of day after being put into storage years ago. Take yourself back to the old times. Yeah, let's go. Or old-fashioned Mario again. <laughs> so that level was... Okay, so that wasn't really a real exit. So, I guess I don't feel quite as bad for cheating. It clearly wasn't intended to be done by just a regular person just playing through. You pretty much have to be someone like Nathan is bored or knows the mechanics inside out to be able to catch everything. Like, I, I got probably 75% of the puzzles in there, but I missed the remaining 25% for sure. <laughs> Anyways, hopefully back to something a little bit calmer. This, the forest has dangerous creatures. Hopefully not as dangerous as the puzzles in that previous level. Got ourselves our good old Super Mario Bros. 1 costume, and oh, it's a snake block. Should probably grab this and immediately fall down the hole. Man, after that last level, I think I'm just going to have to get back into it a little bit. I've just been zoned out in puzzle land for the last 18 years. <laughs> Zap you. Land on this block. It, this stink block is moving a little bit faster than usual, too. See ya. Is there anything down this pipe? For some reason it looked suspicious. I thought I might be able to actually go in there. Alright, so is this a race of some sort? Well, it's a race to not die, apparently. Okay, so that's gonna be our gimmick here, is gotta go fast to keep aligned with it and not fall too far back. Alright, so we go down on here. Nab the dragon coin there. Whoops, I probably shouldn't have given that up. I really should have kept that cape. Oh wow, attacking snake blocks! <laughs> it's a snake block fight. I wasn't supposed to go up there. You can die. After I got the dragon coin from the other one, I was thinking, oh, maybe they did it again in a slightly harder scenario, but no, it doesn't seem that way. Well, this is kind of dangerous. Okay, not really. That was pretty easy. <laughs> I guess this is where we come back when we respawn. Grab the midpoint. That's been going pretty well so far. Grab myself a mushroom. Whoops, I probably should have read that before trying to go in here. Oh, I've, I've got a shell jump. The problem is I've got fireballs, which means I'm just going to fry the shell. 
Whatever. I guess I don't need the one up. Now where am I? Whoops. Hopefully I didn't miss a dragon coin somewhere. You know what? I don't care. <laughs> I kind of wanted to go back anyway because I feel like I could have missed something. And I don't really want to go much farther into the level. Dangers of the forest made Mario lose his short-term memory. He keeps forgetting about the places he has just been to. Oh! We've got Ratchet scrolling in this way now. Well, I suppose that's fitting, considering I'm playing as the original <laughs> Mario now. Wait, that fire plant is actually kind of annoying there. Just duck under this one, though, and we're good. Get on here. Just keep pace. Good, it didn't shoot another one. I think it might have actually just blasted me straight out, but... That works. <laughs> just completely ignore the snake block. Who needs the gimmick anyway? And these ones are even more dangerous than the other ones. Well, with the exception of the fact that I can't actually fall down the hole here, which was much more dangerous in general. Okay. Stay on here. Okay, that wasn't the best way to deal with that. I was too busy searching around the screen with the dragon coin, so I was trying to do everything out of my peripheral vision there. I really want that last dragon coin. Am I just supposed to wait here? What's the point of these coins? I hope I didn't miss anything there. Oh hey, there's one. And the good news is it helps me- it actually kind of helps me time my jump, because I know that uh, the point where I can actually jump is the point where I grab the dragon coin. Dang it. That was not touching me at all, <laughs> but the hitbox was a little bit janky. Now that I'm not going to fry the shell, let's do this. Or not. Just go straight over that chuck. I don't want anything to do with that guy. Rats. There we go, that's another one down. Only got one real shot here. Well, actually I have two. Hey, that was the end. I can't go left still, so... Whoa. <laughs> this is certainly a 50 puzzle. Well, that would have worked if I had maybe even tried to time it. Whatever. <laughs> I was kind of on tilt for that entire level because I had just... <laughs> not quite Kaizo trapped. I was kind of on tilt for that entire level because I just spent like ages tuning out and doing a bunch of puzzles.